Ah, Windows, the bane of my existence. Okay, so if you've been watching my channel at all, you might have noticed that I don't use Windows. I use Linux, and I've been using Linux for about two years now, and I have never once looked back to Windows. So this is about why I don't use Windows as a web developer. Maybe you like playing games and Windows 10 works great for you, but I'm specifically talking about why it's bad as a developer. So let's start with the first and most obvious reason. You do not have a Unix command line. That is the best part about Linux because on Windows you don't have the Unix you don't have the Unix command line. So you have to use the Windows PowerShell. Well, because almost every single web server on the internet is using Linux. So if you're using Windows, the machine that you're developing on and the machine that you host your websites and web applications on is not the same at all. So why is this a problem? Because when I used to work back on Windows, I used to have to do all these weird workarounds for the most mundane tasks. Like, I remember to SSH into a server. Uh, in Linux, I just type SSH, username, whatever. Hit enter, and I'm in. That's literally it. But on Windows, you have to go online, go to this website, download this program called Putty, install it, click, click, click through that. And then once it's installed, you have to do this convoluted setup where you click around a bunch of menus, fill in a bunch of information, and then finally you're logged into the server. And I remember when I was making WordPress websites as, as well. So WordPress usually run a stack with Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. With Windows, you have to kind of emulate that. You can't really have the real experience, so you use WAMP which is a terrible name by the way, but it was this emulation kind of program that uh, you clicked around in, of course you had to install it as well, and you click around in it and then you set up your server. So it was just a really bad way to do it. But you might be wondering like, okay, you have a few workarounds, but it's not that big of a deal, right? And nowadays developing on Windows is a lot better because of the Windows subsystem for Linux. So you can basically set up a virtual Linux box, say Ubuntu or something like that, and you can log into it on your Windows machine and it emulates a Ubuntu machine. But my point is, why would you want to emulate a Ubuntu machine when you can just work and do all your work on a, on a Ubuntu machine or any kind of Linux distro? Now again, that might not all be a big deal to you, but my main problem with Windows is that it kind of keeps you stupid. So whenever you're on Windows, you don't really learn that much because you don't need to. So every time I had to open up the command line on Windows or the or a, a Linux command line, I used to have one attached to my IDE, Visual Studio Code. So it, it would have a space for a terminal down here where I could enter commands. It was always like pulling teeth. I only did it because I had to. Like let's say I had to install some packages with NPM well, there's not really any easy way to do that with a graphical program, so I just did it on the command line. npm install, whatever. But anything else, I would see no reason to use the command line. Why would I use git on the command line? That doesn't make any sense. I can just click here, click here, click here on Visual Studio Code, and I've added to my git, committed, and I was pushed up to GitHub. Why would I ever use the command line? And you don't use the command line for pretty much anything else on your computer, because that would be ridiculous. You open up your settings menu, click around a bit, okay, your computer is updated. But when you're on a Linux system, you actually start to learn about your system. So even if you're on Ubuntu, or even more so if you're on one of these distributions where you set up a lot of the infrastructure yourself on your system, you learn a lot about your system. So maybe I want to have a script running in the background that automatically checks my email for me. So what I do is I would make a cron job and have it run this specific command every five minutes. Well now I've learned about cron jobs so whenever I actually go into a real Linux server then I know how to set up cron jobs already so that's no problem. It kinda teaches you about Linux and then the skills that you learn on your computer can carry over to whenever you're setting up a web server or something like that. I remember the first time I was given access to a web server on my Windows machine. 
So I was used to setting up WordPress sites with the cPanel. You click around here, click around here, and it's up. But this client, he didn't have any of that. It was just a VPS server and you log in and you do the work from there. And I had absolutely no idea what to do. He gave me the SSH credentials. I was like, uh, where do you put this in? Where's the login for the website? So I can click around on the buttons. And uh, needless to say, I did not get that job. <laughs> so that's what happens when you use Windows. It just, it doesn't encourage you to learn new things. Whereas when you use Linux as your daily driver, which I do, it just teaches you so much more about Linux and those skills carry over. Now I can just log on to a Linux server and I know exactly where I can find everything because I've done so many changes on my computer and I've set up local environments on my computer. So whenever I need to push something onto my web server, it's no problem. I know where everything is already. Plus on Windows, if you want to install anything, you have to use some kind of graphical installer. You download the software from some website, click install, and that's how you do it. But on Linux, it's so much easier. You just type in your package manager like sudo pacman-s v if I want to install v. No, vi, right? I forget how to pronounce that. But I can just push s and enter and it's installed. I don't have to go looking around on the internet for something to download. It's that easy. So that's another advantage Linux has over Windows, obviously. And besides that, I just have all the standard Windows complaints that everybody has. The forced updates, the really ugly UI and design of everything, and the fact that it's extremely slow for everything. Like, after a year of owning a Windows PC, it was like slowing down to a crawl. I had to reinstall my entire system to make it work again, download everything again. It was just a nightmare, and I knew I'd have to do that every single year, or just buy a new PC which is probably what they want you to do. But I've been running this Linux machine for almost two years now and I've had no problems whatsoever. So that's also why you don't see a lot of web developers using Windows machines. You'll see a lot of them using MacBooks. That's kind of, that's kind of the tool of choice for most web developers that you see out there. Because Macs, they aren't Linux, but they are Unix based. So they have the same command line and they can do all the same commands that you can do on a Linux server or a Linux machine, exactly the same as you would do it on Mac OS. So that's why a lot of people use uh, MacBooks and Mac OS, but you don't have to go out there and buy a $1,600 computer just to do web development. You can, you can load up Linux on any Windows PC. You just have to go through and install it. It's a pretty simple process. If you've never tried out Linux before, you should just go on Ubuntu's website, download the desktop version, put it on a USB stick and try it out. You don't have to install it or anything. You can kind of try before you buy and see if you like it. And once I tried it, I was like, okay, I have no idea why I'm using Windows. I'm never using Windows again. So if you want to make your life a lot easier, I would just do web development on Linux instead of Windows. So try it out, see if you like it. And like me, you probably won't go back.